here we go again. The real goal of the narcissistic personality disordered psychopath and sociopath is a lot darker than you think. A lot darker than you think. And so let's talk about this discard devalue a little bit. This is really important. If you are with a true narcissist or narcissistic psychopath or sociopath, you should understand and I'm sure you've experienced that the entire time you're with them, you feel almost like you're walking on eggshells or you feel like you're being judged or you feel like everything you do is being evaluated. It's because it is. It's because they're always looking and watching and waiting for the potential devalue and discard. It's like they're always constantly looking for a replacement, your replacement, right? That's because they don't value you as a human being. They see you as an object. Okay, their goal is to make you into an object. All right, inevitably, this paves the way for something that's much darker down the line. This is a spiritual war. This is a spiritual battle. Okay, so understand that part first, if you don't already understand it. Have you ever felt like you need to explain yourself to the narcissist? Have you ever felt like you need to explain your choices to them or your belief system or why you're doing this or why you're not doing that? Have you ever felt like you need to defend, you know, the reason why you're going back to school or the reason why you take such good care of your family or the reason why you choose one occupation over another? These are the things that narcissistic psychopaths and sociopaths use to evaluate you of how good of a job they're doing, how they are going to devalue, and how they are going to discard you. Have you ever felt the feeling like you need to prove yourself to them in terms of, oh, if I don't call back right on time, I need to call back now, even though it might be more convenient for me to call back in an hour, because if I don't call back now, then they might get upset, or they might think this, or they might think that, or, okay, uh, let me go ahead and call now. Like, if you're running through those processes, like you're feeling like you're going to lose them if you don't do X, Y, or Z, again, it's because what you're picking up on is you are being judged. You're being evaluated for a potential devaluation and or discard. Remember, narcissistic psychopath or sociopath, they idealize you first. What happens is they're putting you in a state which is really a fear state. If you think back on it, if you're still with them now, you're probably experiencing that now. And the interesting part about them is the more you're in that fear state, the more they start to devalue you because you're losing control. And when you start to lose control, they feel like, oh, okay, it's because I've got this person. I figured them out. I've measured their worth. I've measured their value. And now once this person is fully destabilized, it's time to discard them or right before it's time to discard them. Okay. And then they take another person and then they measure them. It's really a diabolic cycle for sure. It definitely is a diabolic cycle. It's meant to dehumanize you. It's meant to strip you of your values, of your belief system, of your sense of self, your sense of identity. And like I said, turn you into an object for further destruction down the line. Usually what they do is they don't do a full discard right off the bat. They normally do a shelving. And that may happen a few times. And it's almost to see how much you're going to take or if you will take them back or to give them more time to evaluate you and to figure out what your weaknesses are, what your soft spots are. Remember, they'll pat you on the back, but they're only looking for a soft spot. Okay. But essentially, their goal is to destabilize you, turn you into an empty shell, suck all the life out of you, have you essentially lose your connection with who you are, God, and down the line, this will put you in a position where you will be susceptible to more and more negativity. Let's put it like that. Uh, don't allow this. And the way that you don't allow this is, again, don't go back to them. Don't go back to the narcissist. When they come back around, it's because either... There's a few reasons why, but they feel like they've collected enough data on you and information on you to where they can come in and fully destroy you or take you down another notch. It's a really diabolic thing. So another thing to look for, ask yourself, when you were getting to know the narcissist, were they looking at the things that you loved, like maybe going to church or making scrapbooks or, you know, cooking dinner for friends on Fridays or watching the game or whatever? Did they see these things that brought you joy as things they genuinely supported, that they genuinely cared about? Or did they see it as cute or quaint? You have to look at these little nuances because 
if you step back and look at it, they never really actually cared about you. They were studying you like prey. All right, that's how they do things because they have no control over their own lives. They have no control over their own emotions. They have no control over their own identity. So they get that through controlling yours. I want you to ask yourself, did they provide any real compassion, any real concern, any real genuine support for what you did? Were they there for you emotionally? Or was everything measured? Or was everything transactional? Because most narcissistic psychopaths and sociopaths, everything is transactional. Again, they're trying to reduce you to an object. They're trying to dehumanize you. Again, their job is to dehumanize you, to strip you of your identity, your values, your belief system, in order to prepare you for further destruction down the line. Not a very nice thing. If they're not bringing continual support or balance into your life and again that could be emotional support that could be you know a good friend someone that cares genuinely um consistency someone that doesn't make you feel like you're being judged someone who you aren't worried like okay are they going to be there next week are they going to be there tomorrow um if i do this maybe they're gonna do that like someone where it's not like that you're just relaxed right these are good signs with a narcissistic psychopath or sociopath, there's always a fear element involved. There's always a feeling of being unstable because many of them operate in chaos. They want you to feel unstable. They want you to feel instable so they can come in and control the dynamic. All right, I think we're done. I'll talk to you later. Bye.